Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Cynthia Ortiz and today we'll be focusing on using doubles to subtract. Now before we get into the lesson, let's remember doubles. It's two addeds that are the same number, okay? So here I have two plus two equals four. My two add-ins are two and two. They are the numbers being added. They are the same number, so they are doubles. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at an example. 1 plus 1 equals 2. Did you know that this double spec can help me find the subtraction problem 2 minus 1? Watch this. 1 plus 1 equals 2. 2 minus 1 equals 1. So if I read this backwards as a subtraction problem, I can find my answer. 1 plus 1 equals 2. 2 minus 1 equals 1. So 2 minus 1 equals 1. Very good. 2 plus 2 equals 4. This double spec can help me find 4 minus 2. How is that? Well, watch this. 2 plus 2 equals 4. 4 minus 2 equals 2. 4 minus 2 equals 2. Again, I read my double spec backwards as a subtraction problem, and that helped me find my answer. 3 plus 3 equals 6. I can use this double spec to find 6 minus 3 by reading it backwards as a subtraction problem. 3 plus 3 equals 6. Let's read it backwards as a subtraction problem. 6 minus 3 equals 3. 6 minus 3 equals 3. Very good. 4 plus 4 equals 8. I will use this to find 8 minus 4 by reading it backwards as a subtraction problem. 4 plus 4 equals 8. 8 minus 4 equals 4. 8 minus 4 equals 4. Very good. 5 plus 5 equals 10. I can use this double spec to find 10 minus 5 by reading it backwards as a subtraction problem. 5 plus 5 equals 10. 10 minus 5 equals 5. 10 minus 5 equals 5. Very good. 6 plus 6 equals 12. I can use this double spec to find 12 minus 6 by reading it backwards as a subtraction problem. So 6 plus 6 equals 12. 12 minus 6 equals 6. 12 minus 6 equals very good. 7 plus 7 equals 14. I will use this double spec to find 14 minus 7 by reading it backwards as a subtraction problem. 7 plus 7 equals 14. 14 minus 7 equals 7. 14 minus 7 equals 7. Awesome. 8 plus 8 equals 16. I will use this double spec to find 16 minus 8 by reading it backwards as a subtraction problem. 8 plus 8 equals 16. 16 minus 8 equals 8. 16 minus 8 equals 8. Very good. 9 plus 9 equals 18. I will use this double spec to find 18 minus 9 by reading it backwards as a subtraction problem, just as I've been doing. 9 plus 9 equals 18. 18 minus 9 equals 9. 18 minus 9 equals 9. Good job. 10 plus 10 equals 20. I will use this double fact to find 20 minus 10 by reading it backwards as a subtraction problem. 10 plus 10 equals 20. 20 minus 10 equals 10. 20 minus 10 equals 10. Very good job. So solving those examples for me was pretty easy. The reason it was pretty easy was because I've already memorized my double stacks. Now, if you don't know your double stacks yet, I have provided them for you right here. So go ahead and pause this video and copy them down so that you can memorize them yourself. Okay, ready for the word problem? It says, Joey sees eight birds. Four birds fly away. How many birds does he see now? So let's start by circling what we already know. We know that Joey sees how many birds in the beginning? Eight. Circle eight birds. 
how many flew away? Four. Now we want to know how many birds does he see now? Hmm. Well, if I started with eight birds and four flew away, I know that I have to subtract because when something goes away, we are subtracting. Eight minus four equals what? Hey, because I've been practicing my double stacks, I know that four plus four equals eight. If four plus four equals eight, that means that eight minus four equals four. Eight minus four equals four. So he saw four birds at the end. Very good. All right guys, so that ends today's lesson on using doubles to subtract. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson and are excited to practice your doubles facts. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more learning videos. Bye guys.